Do you remember Rock the Vote? Only from Black Sheep. Wasn't that Rock the Vote? Oh, man, that took me back, Black Sheep. Rock the Vote. It was like an yeah, MTV, MTV thing. thing yeah, yeah, Rock the Vote. Like, er, rock, er, er, vote, right? It's cool. So what do you think of these uh, these primaries and all that? It's kind of a shit show. A shit show? I always like that term, shit show. I know. I love that term. So it's like a show. It's fun to say. It is fun to say because the whole concept like this whole show is just a shitty show. People might say this is a shit show. I'm sure that people in Indonesia don't feel that way. And I'm okay with that. You know what? It's a We're shit. Just trying. It's a shit podcast. It's not. A, it's not a shit show. It's not like a show show. But every time we get we get shit on. Yeah. We just say I just say where's your show, and then of course like ninety five percent of the time they say well here's my show exactly at exactly. at the blah 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 podcast follow it yeah. subscribe to it review it exactly leave a comment leave a review yeah and then that joke always backfires on me exactly I used to say that. Uh, when I was in radio, like, where's your show? And I'd be like, well, here it is. And it's, here's all my listeners. <laughs> They're way more than yours. <laughs> that never actually happened, but you know what I mean? <laughs> so we, are, we we took a, a sabbatical. You took a sabbatical. We took a sabbatical. You had stuff to do, too. I have nothing going on. I have <laughs> Come a, on, man. You don't admit that. I have a meaningless existence. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about politics. <laughs> so, I guess. so I feel like we had like we had like a break between seasons. It essentially, feels like a new season. You know what? We negotiated with ourselves and we decided to renew ourselves. We decided and... it's worth. It, yeah. It's still worth doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least for one more season. We'll see. We'll we'll see about the next season. Well, two episode as of, deal. As, as of right now, we're still here. <laughs> yeah. So we missed a lot of. Uh, I mean, a lot of stuff went on in the last month in the world of politics. President Donald Trump was impeached, and then he wasn't removed from office. Surprise, surprise. Which we called. I don't know. Nancy Pelosi ripped up a love letter that he gave her. What was the yeah. speech, right? It was his speech. It was just a dramatic, you know. It was a big fuck you. Yeah, she planned it along, you know. She rehearsed day, it, like, yeah. all night. Oh, yeah. Just pre- pre- like, uh, she rehearsed it all night. She was, like, ripping up papers in the mirror. <laughs> what no one saw what no one saw was she had she had band-aids all over her fingers because when she was practicing she's got a bunch of paper cuts oh really yeah yeah that so was that pretty happened. that blew people's minds yeah yeah you know uh, out of everything that was said if, did you watch that live? no i actually did I, I just wanted to hear and it was just a big commercial for not commercial it was just big propaganda for you know there was a there was a quote-unquote sob story for everything that for all the agendas he was trying to push before re-election or during re-election. Well, didn't period. he give Rush Limbaugh yeah. the medal? What is it? Do you know the official? The, the president. Medal of medal Freedom? Fr- I don't know. Medal, Some BS award. Something you don't. I, don't I, I, it's not a. It's not a. Just go. Just go. Just go. It's just not go. a BS reward. It's just. Uh, for him to get it. For him yes. to get it. But anyway. Yeah. So that happened. That pissed a lot of people off. Yeah, it did. And he did that on purpose to piss people off. Yeah. Are you gonna give Howard Stern an award? I mean, you know what I mean. Like yeah. you give some radio guy. I mean, that's to be like some national hero gets that award, correct? That's what. Well, does my... anybody who kisses his ass and his administration's ass? Yeah, I guess. I mean, he Rush is the the mouthpiece for the conservative. I mean, his show. He's the pipeline. He's done the conservatives a lot of good. He he is a tastemaker for sure for years. Yeah. You know, he's from Cape Girardeau. I did not know that. I think his brother is. Or was a judge down there? Hmm. Yeah, Rush Limbaugh, Missouri. Today I learned. Yeah, so he got that a big honor. He's got lung cancer too. Well, I think that's why he got it. Yeah, I mean, it's sad. I'm not. It's like if he wasn't sick, he'd probably still be doing the show. And I think he's still doing a show. Oh, he is. Yeah. He was kind of like uh, denying that cigarettes or tobacco, I think, gave you cancer. I think he definitely denied secondhand smoke gave you cancer. But you know what? People get lung cancer without smoking, too, though. But I think right. he, he smoked cigars. But anyway, yeah. Um, I never was, like, a fan. I never, like, really listened to him. But, like, I respect, like, what he accomplished as, like, a broadcaster. Does he deserve that award? No. <laughs> yeah. Is well, he probably that, an asshole? But yeah, but that's just like how you got to be with hot hot talk radio. You got to be like a an asshole. Well, that was that was. I mean, the the biggest takeaway is if you didn't watch the the 
say the Union Live, it was the biggest takeaways were Nancy Pelosi ripping up the speech and Rush Limbaugh. Well, and like people said, it was basically like what you said prior to the to well prior to nothing that it was basically a campaign thing, which is what it shouldn't have been. The State of the Union is. You address the country and you give the State of the Union. It was. And he was and basically like, "Look at me, I got away with it." See, Fuck I didn't you. pay. Uh-huh. Att- I didn't pay attention in years past. Maybe it's always like that. The the year of or the the year of election. The um, when it's on election years, re-election years. But pretty much like everything has a story. Like here's so and so stand up. Uh, so and so, she's being awarded. Or he goes into a tirade about schools and. You know, schools, it's cost so much and these inner city kids can't, they have to go to bad schools and, and uh, so, so and so stand up, blah, 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 blah. And that's why we are asking Congress to do blah, 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 blah. And that was pretty much the state of the union. It was just, there was a story and then th- that's why I'm asking Congress to do this. And, and you then, also taught your achievements, right? Like I brought this, I did that. Like, I think that's normal Yeah. for the president to be like, like Obama would be like, I passed health care, like at the State of the Union, right? Yeah. And I guess he, Trump would be like, I got away with it or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, so then, he, so I think you said it, he he was he was acquitted, which, yeah, no surprise. And now there's that big drama with uh, the Roger Stone case, the yeah. guy that uh, went down for the whole thing, I think, right? That's that's what's going on. That's what yeah. he went down for it. Yeah. And uh, he, Trump's interfering in the investigation. And he's getting a lot of shit for that. And that's got people all riled up, too. And, yeah, just people are all riled up. So you got you got that. And then, then we, we talked about that situation with Syria, right? That kind of was swept under the rug, the whole, that, I mean, that never came back. Yeah, anytime uh, we talk about something on the podcast, like by the next time we <laughs> record, it's it's what well, we, it's. We were actually like busy on like other people who have podcasts. Oh no, podcast war, fighting. You know, I don't know. Well, not just that. It's <laughs> it wasn't a knock on us. That was a knock on like. I'm just saying, anybody who is knocking on us, like Indonesian guys listening to us, <laughs> just saying like, there's so much going on. That's anytime we talk. Well, this is a big deal, and then by the next week or two, it's not a big deal, or it's for, forgotten, or it's just not talked about. Yeah, well, it was fun anyway, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure was. <laughs> but yeah, so Bernie's surging right now, Bernie Sanders, and you had Pete Buttigieg. He won Iowa. Bernie won New Hampshire, and then South Carolina's tonight, and. From what I understand, I don't know if this is the same. And I bet is there it's a not primary the tonight. Yeah, it's tonight. I think it's there's something. a debate tonight. I thought it was a primary. The primary is Saturday. Okay, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. When we're not the, taping this live, so. But yeah, it's live right now. Actually, while the primary is going on, the, um, yeah, we're actually at the primary. Yeah, we're actually going to get thrown out because he wants to be quiet. But uh, they were saying Biden will take South Carolina. I don't know why. Is he from South Carolina? I thought it was Nevada. Nevada. Maybe you're right. Maybe there's a primary tonight. Something. The Nevada is this weekend. <clears throat> Let me look it up. Man, we're pros. Well, we don't <laughs> fucking care, really. I mean, we're like here's we the are thing. not special. Specialists. Here's the thing: we're not, we're, we're not, we're not Sean Hannity or we're not Beck. correspondents. Yeah, we're just like regular people talking about it, and like that's how normal people are. And anybody who's like blah blah blah, fact check, fact check, like I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> we're just people with opinions. Yeah, like they're like assholes. Everyone has one. Yeah, it's water cooler talk. Yeah, it's a. And beer. we're trying to keep like it. It's like a, we're trying to keep it, you know, you're not like necessarily friend. down the middle, but just logical. Yeah. What makes sense? What doesn't make sense? I believe in nothing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's just a couple of friends who hang out. Hey, pull up, a, pull up a seat and uh, uh, blaze, blaze up a bowl or, or or shove some stuff in your veins and let's hang out. I mean, this was <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna look this up while we're recording. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna do a, an executive producer role. Primary, primary. Are you oh, shit? I can't type. So what happens when you have arthritis? You know, you feel old when you got arthritis, which hundreds of people have. No, not not at my age. Hundreds they don't. of millions. Not at my age, they don't. Sure, they do. No, they don't. Not at nineteen, they don't. There's a lot of people with rheumatoid arthritis. It's a. Uh, Primary debate in Nevada tonight. Oh boy, and Bloomy's going to be there. Bloomy's going to be there. Big we're, we're recording this a, a day early. Yeah, it would be nice to Have that reaction. Bloom dog. 
because they're gonna they're gonna be coming at him. Well, he's gonna have Hill Dog now. Do you hear that? For what? His VP. Oh my God. No, it's serious. I'm not. This isn't conspiracy. Now, you would you like some conspiracy? Yeah, I'll give it to you. I think I know where you're going with this. Go ahead. Bloomberg has got a lot of heat for some stuff he said. He's no better than Trump as far as like on the record for saying racial shit. Yeah. He t- he said stuff about farmers that's got everyone pissed off. Talk down about farmers like they're idiots. I mean, real smart idiot, billionaire guy from New York. That's going to go over well. Um, and uh, something about African Americans and Latinos don't know how to work. I mean, and stop and frisk. Basically, pull up to a bunch of black guys on the corner, make them you know spread them against the wall. Just for no reason. So he's not going to win. Or is he? No, he's not. You want to know why he's not? Why? He's going to drop out. Meaning his oh, VP. God. Oh, and I, the final countdown. I, I, I thought that's where you were going with da, this. Da, 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 da. Or he's going to Jeff Epstein himself. And then Hillary. <laughs> I just thought you were going to say this is, this is the DNC solution to, it is. to Bernie. It is. No, it is. No, Bernie's going to get the shaft. Just wait. They've been trying to give him the shaft the whole time. Like, I think on our last one, I told you that uh, everyone was criticizing CNN for treating them like shit, pretty much. Because they're the mouthpiece for the Democratic Party, essentially. Rush, Fox News, mouthpiece for conservatives, CNN, MSNBC. Pretty much any Viacom, General Motors, or Electric General Electric yeah. station is going to be liberal. They hit the button. Well, um, Bernie's doing too well. We got to just, just bring him in. Bernie is bring the shit, in. man. I totally like Bernie now, dude. I was talking about how weird he was. He is weird, but I like it. You know why? I may not agree with everything he believes in. I'm studying psychology, and there's this uh, guy called Adler, okay? And you're going to go, hey, man, we're Steven talking. Steven Adler, the drummer? No, not Steven. I got a stroke Adler because I did too much heroin from Guns N' Roses. Why isn't he in any of the reunions? Um, his name's Adler. Yeah. His social interest, okay, came from socialism, actually. It was coming up in Europe at the time. Basically, like, interest in society. Like, society as a whole is is bigger than you so he classifies mental illness as no social interest if you actually think about it people who are mentally ill i don't want to say crazy because that has a stigma to it and i'm a silly guy i try to be a comedian i say stuff that's not funny whatever it's offensive i mean not everyone's as sensitive i mean not everyone's not as sensitive as me whatever but people who are mentally ill probably have no interest in society okay so that's socialism so on paper like that does sound like good really and Bernie's like a guy we talked about. He hung out in a commune, and he was all weird yeah. and stuff. They kicked him out. And I was reading stuff. He wrote a lot, a lot of literature on masturbation. I mean, here's the thing. Whatever. I'm not him, but I am him. I am the outsider as well. I don't stand for what he believes in, but he is anti-establishment, man. So I say, go, Bernie. That's why he's he'll not going to get elected. But he'll never accomplish any of that stuff anyway. So like, go, go ahead. like Sit in there. Because everyone hates Trump and everyone's mad. And I don't know if that's his fault or their fault for being too sensitive. And I don't know. I, I'm, not, I, I'm just like detached from it at this point. He really is the polar opposite of Trump. Yeah. In a Bloomberg way. won't. Bloomberg is Trump. He, he Bloomberg the is thing. Trump. Like the guy's too crazy or whatever. I'm sorry for the stigma. No, no, no. I'm just saying he's too for, out me, for there. me. You can say whatever I'm, you want. On both side, you can say the same thing about Trump and Bernie. They're, he's too out there. The the status quo is not going to listen to him. The party's going to do whatever they want. You they know. don't want him. The people I know. have spoken. They want Bernie. They right. want Bernie. That's what the party wants. See, it's torn, actually. It's torn because they wanted Biden originally. That's what they want for the, I'm using the word normal, and that's a stigma too. Normal Democrats, people who believe in the Democratic ideology, they want Joe Biden, they want Bill Clinton, they want Al Gore, they want Hillary Who's they? The normal Democrats. These normal people. Oh, the people on the end. And then you got these people, this new sect that's like the socialist sect, and it's like taking over, and it's like divided. That's why I like people. Not just young people. Well, I mean, fuck. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, young people. Bernie's seventy eight. He's not young. No. Well, he, yeah, but the, I mean, who? Yes, I the mean, young people want. Yes, they want free everything. And honestly, think about it. I'm never going to be fucking rich. I'm never going to be a CEO. So give me your shit. I'm serious. Yeah, I'm but you, serious. Yeah, but either way, your taxes are going to go up. I know it doesn't work. I mean, either way, you're going to get affected. We're too big of a country. I think I've said it a million times, and not just on here, but like everybody I've had this discussion with. We have like 300 million people in this country. If we're the size of Iowa, maybe it would work. It would work. But like, there's a lot of socialist countries in South America that are like hellholes because of it. And that's because people in charge like are corrupt and 
I mean, you basically have no one person has everything, no one has anything. That's like communism too, pretty Here, much. Here's the thing. Even I mean, Bernie for sure, maybe. I mean, I shouldn't say for sure, but his ideals, mm -hmm. if they go into play, and a lot of the other Democrats, you're gonna pay. People are gonna pay. It doesn't matter if you're rich or, or, or poor. I mean, it benefits poor, lower class, more than upper class. Does it though? Does it actually? Or does it just fuck? ideally it does? Is it going to actually help anybody? Is it just so what we so let's so the healthcare we're going to talk about that like as a main example the healthcare for all? Yeah, I'm, and I honestly, like I, I agree with that too. Like I think like that. I mean, um, pre-existing conditions shouldn't like disqualify you because that's like the reason why you need healthcare in the first place. Now, that doesn't exist right now. That's not. But like they're they're saying like Trump wants to do away with it and stuff. They yeah. meaning like the media. I don't know if that's true. I'm sorry if you have like a heart problem, like you need health insurance. Why would that? Why would that? Well, if you have cancer or whatever, like why? Why does that? Like let's jack it up. That's just so unethical. It's just that no. shouldn't be allowed. The, yeah, there's so many arguments with that. It's, was it done right? No. I mean, know, the, but is it? Was it possible to do it right? No. It's impossible. The government's fucking stupid. The argument is it's going to cost a lot. It's going to cost their taxes are going to go up tremendously, but. Your copay is going to go away. Your hospital bills are going to go away. Your, you know, emergency care, that's going to go away. And it's just you're just going to pay for it in the front end. That's good and bad, depending on how many times you need those services. I mean, it's not like you go to, when I go to the hospital, and I've been there a few times. Um, I, I busted my ear open, and, like, they stitch it up, which is great. I mean, but, like, how much is that really worth? I mean, I guess well, I need it. the bill? Oh, I can't remember. It was a lot. Yeah. I remember they came in and then they were like trying to like, if you pay by this date, you get this percent off. It was just a big, a bu it was so businesslike. It was so, so disgusting. Business. It was so disgusting how businesslike it was. Oh, it was so disgusting. And I went in there one time, I'm getting derailing, but this is still on topic, healthcare. I had to get a blood drawn for whatever. Um, and they're like, go ahead, I'll run your insurance. And then I go do it and I come back out and they're like, yeah, it doesn't cover it. A thousand dollars. I'm like, what the, f you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I owe him a thousand dollars, and I fought it. I fought it, like, and I got, I got away with it. But like, because it's like that's unethical. But yeah, it's so. It's like, why did you get into this business? Like, it's, you know what I mean? It's the same process of like buying a car, buying a house. And then they shake you down. Like you they call through. your phone and they shake you down after you already yeah. pay because it's such a bureaucracy. Someone in one department in one city is not talking to another department. You paid. They haven't told them you're off the list, and you're still getting calls. Is oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting worked up here. But, but that you, should be there's free. There's a lot of people that are like you. Yeah, <laughs> that should be free. It's not free though. You're going to pay for it. No, nothing's. Free. That's I know, the I point. Know, like I, you're yeah. going to pay for it. I know. And everybody's going to pay for it in some aspect. Now it's going to be great whenever that happens, or if you know, you heaven forbid, you have to take a uh, ambulance somewhere, or and it's just you just walk out and everything's paid for. That that in that aspect, it's great. But where are you going to have to pay? You're going to have to pay monthly. You're going to have to pay for your taxes. You're going to pay. I, th th those are the. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that plan's even laid out yet. We already have socialism in this country. You know that. In terms of what? Social Security socialism, unemployment socialism, Medicaid socialism. That's the government taking care of you. That's socialism. Mm -hmm. Unemployment. Did I said that already. No. Disability. That. That's socialism. Mm -hmm. So. And those are the things the Republicans do not like. No. So. The happy medium, which is like the the parent company of everything that we do, it's like our main brand. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blah blah blah, YouTube, blah 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 blah. The happy medium is like the Republicans don't want any of that, and then the other side wants all like just everyone to have it and everyone to be on like assistance. I mean, I get yeah. frustrated a lot, man. So it's kind of like, who gives a fuck, man? Give me my assistance. Like, I'm sick of it. Like, I'm I'm failing at everything I do. I mean, I'm not being. I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I can see where you've grown up and you didn't have any opportunities. So yeah, you know, why can't I? Why, why can't the government take care of you? But the government is not your friend. It's not your friend. And just it's like not you said, your the government. Okay, and that's that's another thing I always say. Like, everybody always points to other countries. Well, they do this, and look how it works. And those countries are the size they're like a 16th of the size of this country denmark you were lived in denmark right or no but yeah, you I, did. Mean, I, I didn't live there for like a few months right or a year right i lived in europe not in denmark i thought you went to amsterdam 
Yeah, that's, Amsterdam's not that's, Denmark. That's Denmark. No, it's not. Dude, don't, dude, it's in Denmark. No, it's not. Where's it at then? What country is it in? Holland. Oh, Netherlands. Shit, my bad. <laughs> anyway. Well, well, either the, okay, same. Well, Netherlands, okay, Netherlands. Yeah. That's socialism, I think. Either Denmark or ne- Netherlands is a socialist country. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, so what was the it Netherlands like there? is very liberal. Well, I think that's... I'm going to have to look that up. What? That, is the Netherlands a socialist country? It has, it has. I don't know if it's social, but it, it's very, it, very uh, liberal ideas. They're very idealistic in that way. So what was it like, though? I, I don't know. I didn't have health care over there. And What I was the vibe there? I'm going to see if it's officially socialist. The vibe there is the government takes care of everything. Okay. Did that bother you? No. Did that bother anybody? I don't know. I well, there are you know. I don't think we got into too deep of discussions because we were. It was a long time ago, so we were younger. Yeah, the Social Democratic Party. Wait. That's great. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna get a list of socialist countries. No, that's not gonna work. But anyway, good. it's it's just you can't please everybody, and, and not only that. So if you want the government to p- take care of every single person in this country, someone there's has too many to people. Pay, someone has yeah. to pay for it. There's too many people. Someone has to pay for it. The, the free, the to get rid of all, of all the debt. Someone has to pay for it. Something has to pay for that. It's not just they can make war. they can make some stuff go away. War, war, yeah, well, war. But Democrats don't like war. I mean, Franklin Roosevelt was a socialist, pretty much. All that stuff yeah. he came up with during the war. I don't know. But I think just the question is who who is... So we're talking about the primaries. So Bloomberg's in there. We'll what do you think of Biden? Goes. What do you think about Biden? I don't think Biden has a chance. I think Obama like wants nothing to do with him. I was waiting for Obama to come out and be like, hey, what's up, buddy? This is my guy. But no. like, he's well, just... the, I think the big shocker is that, that Buttigieg. Chedj. Oh, I knew he would have. I knew he would have some support. I just learned yeah, like a couple days ago he's gay. You didn't know that? Openly gay? No. Did you see that Iowa lady uh-huh. in Iowa? Yeah, she uh, she voted for him, and then she walked out and like some t- camera crew. Hey, who'd you vote for? <laughs> and it's like uh, Budichek won Iowa. Yeah. And she's like Pete Budichek, and they asked him about him being gay. Asked her about him being gay. And she's like, Oh my god, I didn't know. Can I take my vote back? <laughs> Let's look on camera. <laughs> So I don't know if I, I thought that was common. Like, my whole thing is like, you have no business voting if you have no clue the guy's gay. Not that that matters, but like, you I don't even feel like the media made a big stink about it. They didn't. Now Rush, going back to Rush. Well, yeah, he's a, he's going after him now, yeah, saying he's yeah. not really gay because everyone makes that up, right? It's not the other way around. Everyone lies. Isn't he a, married? Yeah. Oh, you think that's fake? He's I mean, saying it's just like a shtick or something. Rush Limbaugh. Now he's a conservative boy. Like I said, mouthpiece. That means that Pete's a threat. If Rush is talking about him, that means Pete's a threat. Rush is not going to talk. Will, about... Trump will destroy him. No, that's where you're wrong. It's prove not. Me wrong. It, it won't. It won't I how can I prove you wrong? I can't make him win. No, no, no. And then uh, I, I think that's where he Trump will lose. I think Trump can take Biden. I think Trump can take Bloomy. Trump can take Hillary. I don't know, man. If Trump versus Hillary again is going to cause like a civil war. Oh, I think everyone is just going to like start killing each other. But I think Pete could like out, I think Pete could outmaneuver Trump and make him look like an he idiot. He seems just like a little boy. He is compared to he has zero percent of the like black vote. Like he has no black support. They are not down with him. Well, at I think all. whoever wins the whoever wins the Democratic nomination is going to get the black vote. Well, yeah. So Jesse Jackson or someone's going to come out and be like, I I endorse you, and that's like that's just I guess he's like on South Park, the Emperor of Black People, or whatever. Yeah. Remember that episode? God, I don't the, remember that one. Oh man, it, I don't want to talk about it because it's really like it's pretty brutal. <laughs> they probably know. couldn't it's, do that episode today. It was that bad. <laughs> I really wish we were we were either the debate was last night or we're doing this tomorrow so we can talk see how this debate goes tonight. We can probably watch it. it starts in half an hour. Yeah, I got YouTube TV on my laptop. I can pull it up. Well, it's not gonna make for a very good podcast. I could stream it. It's okay. We stream it on the podcast. Like, hear what you missed when you like were taking a piss or talking. Yeah. Because Biden said, like, has he got dementia? He's stupid. <laughs> like, he's a fucking stupid, man. Like, he's not. He called a girl the dog faced pony yeah. soldier. Like, what? what is that about? I don't know what it's about. It's a movie from 1960. It's not the called the movie, it's like re- referenced in the movie. 
Like, that's some dementia shit. Like that's not even a pop culture reference. What it the is hell? To him. <laughs> I mean, Bernie's old too, so it can't be an age thing. Yeah, but there's some magic to Bernie. Biden's the establishment. Oh yeah. Biden's been doing this for forty years. Biden is this year's Hillary. Bernie's the outcast. And I love the outcast. I do. I really do. Um, I mean, Biden. Th- I think this this primary is pretty much like Biden has to do well. This is this is yeah. This is killer be killed yeah. for him. Totally. Because you see, after after every primary, there's like two to three that drop out because they have no chance. And I don't think Biden will drop out after this, but if he doesn't do well in this one, do you think he's like like mental, or do you think he's just an asshole? Probably a little bit of both. Yeah. Just yeah. like I've been doing this for so long, I know what I'm doing. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, that's a horrible impression. I'm sorry, I wasn't really trying to nail it. He, he talks like he looks like an inbred. I saw like a compared to the Deliverance kid, and I died <laughs> laughing because like, um, oh man. Anyway, um, hey, one minute. So, <clears throat> do you think Bloomberg has a chance? Oh, definitely. Because that's because the, sorry. No, I'm gonna say if if that's if there's, there's no conspiracy, are... where, you know, he's just in it just to bring Hillary. God, people are gonna vote for any. The people will vote for a pile of trash if it's running against Trump. The the people who the, the liberals they will vote for a, a literally a pile of feces. Bloomberg's going hard on these ads. I've been hearing well, he's a billionaire. A he can afford it. Ads. That's the thing is he can afford. He can bankroll himself. Well, he owns a, he That's how owns, Trump got in, pretty I much. I know. It's going to be the battle of the billionaires, except it's not Vince McMahon. Remember that WWE match where Trump got yeah. the Stone Cold Stunner? Legendary. Maybe that's how it should be. What, they fight it out in the ring? Yeah. <laughs> and Vince is the special guest referee, even though Ooh. Vince is an old man now. Warren's done, right? I guess. I mean, I mean, we're still like a primary or two away from someone coming from behind and taking the lead. Yeah. It's like if, if, if Biden wins like surgingly, yeah, or Warren, I don't know her, how she does in, in Nevada. What do you think of her? I don't like her. I don't, yeah. I don't. It seems like she's like lied a lot. Yeah, a lot like stories that make her look like sad. I'm still not. I'm not sold on anybody. Oh, they're, everyone's awful in my opinion. Yeah, except Bernie. It'll be interesting. I mean, I don't know. It's. <laughs> And once again, asking for your support. <laughs> I don't know. I I, I don't. It, it's because I try to see like, okay, what's going to be the best for the next four years, and I don't know what that is. I don't know if another four years of Trump is going to be beneficial. There's people who are just really mad about it, really upset. But it's then, just going to be four more years of of what's. I mean, obviously. If he went, if Trump wins, it's gonna be four more years, if not worse. Like he might put all of his implementations into place. Well, yeah, because the second term means he's done. It's go time. So baby. yeah, he's not even gonna try to run again. So he's gonna do some damage, whatever that may be. Yeah, maybe start a war. But I, I, th- I think either way, I keep saying this, but I think in the next four years, there's gonna be a collapse of some sort, minor, major. Of what? The economy. Oh yeah, probably. I feel like it's coming. Yeah. But I've been saying this for four years. And well, I, I hope it, you're it, wrong. But what with Trump in there, like everything keeps going up. Yeah. I, you, everything. Yeah. The economy, you know the, what? the employment rates are going down or staying the same. People, people. The, the, the interest rates that. are staying the same. The Fed's staying the same. People notice that. And that's I'm telling you. That's what's that going to That's a very important aspect. Oh, that's. No, you, you know, you see everyone run their mouths on both sides. But the what matters is the people who don't say anything. Because those people are the ones that value that, and that's all they care about. They don't care about all the jibber jabber and the right. who said what and who was accused of what. They care about how much money they have. They vote their pocketbook. Yeah. Now they're not. Hopefully, ideally, wouldn't vote Hitler in. I mean, but right. They vote their pocketbook, and all the other BS WWE shit that's going on. They just now there's a lot. Everyone else is sucked into that, and I think. I think it's destroying the especially on election year. It's destroying the fabric of our country. I mean, it has been for years. It just gets worse and worse and worse, especially in the age of where we're at now. Well, because you can cover every fucking second of it. Yeah, but I hope Bernie's the nominee. Do I hope he's president? I'm not sure. I'm not endorsing Trump or by any means, but I don't know what to do. I'm just a person. My vote matters. All right. Do you know if you vote, you're on jury duty? 
Never been summoned. Mm. I was summoned actually when I was living in Missouri, and they sent it to my old address in Illinois, like where my I used to live with my parents. Yeah, I, go, I can't do it because I live in Missouri. I can't serve on the Illinois. You know what I'm gonna do in election or this election year is I'm gonna fucking like pregame in the car, and I'm gonna have like electric guitar, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, like play Metallica, or like Slayer, like rock the vote. Could they let you vote if you're like under the influence? Probably not. Depends on <laughs> depends on where you're at, probably. <laughs> All right, we'll see how it goes. We'll uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Wasn't talking to you. <laughs>